Why is that? Why does it take so long for us to be in that future that looked so exciting for all of us? Well, so one of the first actually mentions of the flying cars was even back in 1905, I think, by Jules Burns. Um, so flying cars were not only, well, like well back, well, uh, back in history before 2015 and Back to the Future. I also love to, Back to the Future. It's one of my favorite movies. Uh, that being said, the notion of flying cars in the book science fiction and the uh, film science fiction were for a long, 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 long time. There were multiple attempts at that. Oh, actually, many attempts on that. Henry Ford tried to do that. The flying cars, many smart people. Uh, Muller tried to do that. So many, many smart people try to do that throughout the history. The fact that we succeeded does not mean that we're smarter than them. It just means that enough technologies matured actually around 2015, as you mentioned. The car and Back to the Future traveled to 2015. We started the company in 2015 by complete coincidence. But the year 2015 represents maturing of number of key technologies like battery technology, like software drone technology, like rapid prototyping, like 3D printing, like uh, composite materials and advances and many, many other technologies made it possible right now what was impossible before because from the laws of physics and aeronautics, that's actually a pretty, pretty complex problem, which requires uh, multiple industries and multiple technologies to work together to make it a solution. Technically, we already do have flying cars. You saw probably video of our car flying. We don't have them in the cities, which is completely separate topic of conversation, which is customer adoption and legal and regulations.